Hey guys, Matt Johnson here. Just returned from Lake Mendoza. Been up there for a couple of days pre-fishing for the ABT Bass Grand Final that we've got there in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, just doing some unpacking this morning, and I thought I'd just do a quick video run through on the new FPV Power 100 amp hour hybrid cranking battery that the guys just released, and why I'm so excited about it. So, bit of background. This is a 19 foot 10 Legend Alpha 199 bass boat that I run. Uh, it's powered by Mercury Optimax 225 Pro XS, and at the front I run a couple of uh, Lorance, large Lorance displays. So at the front I've got a HDS Live 16 hooked up to an Active Target 1 forward facing sonar module and on the console I run a Carbon 12 that does my side scan and down scan at the console. Uh, what I found myself in during the tournaments is running those large Lorance display units uh, and the cranking battery that was, that was in the boat uh, I found that I was running short on power at the end of a tournament session in not having the full power required to turn over the Mercury Optimax. So Mercury recommend a minimum of 800 CCAs in a battery to crank these guys over. And after fishing six or eight hours with a single lead acid crank battery in the back of the boat, I was finding that I was running out of power and I was needing to jump start, which was not ideal in a tournament situation. So I went to a double lead acid crank battery, which round figures added 75 kilos to the back of the boat, or the two batteries were about 75 kilos of weight in the back of the boat, which impacted on my top end speed, whole shot performance, and fuel economy. And with fuel at $2.20 a litre at the moment, fuel economy is definitely something that uh, we've got to be mindful of. So the reason why I'm so excited about this new battery is that it's a 100 amp hour hybrid cranking battery, and the hybrid cranking battery comes from, it's a 90, they put a 1900 CCA super capacitor next to a 100 amp hour lithium cell. So what that means is that there's that 1900 CCA supercapacitor that enables the rapid discharge of enough amps to crank over your motor at the end of the day, but still have that 100 amp power of lithium power beside it there to ensure that my electronics and everything like that on the boat run effectively throughout the course of the day. So just as an example, I just put it to the test being up there at Boondema for a couple of days pre-fishing. Uh, so I did a day and a half without charging the battery up at all. So I ran it for a solid 18 hours, uh, 12 hours one day, 6 and a bit hours the next day. That's running both the Lorance 16 with the AT, the Carbon 12 at the console. Uh, I ran a live well for about 12 hours just to test it. Uh, so the, the live well pump ran for 12 hours over the course of that I had 18 hours. And I still had ample power to crank over the Merc whenever I needed to crank up to Merc spots. Which is something that I could have never even dreamt of before with the two lead acid uh, crank batteries in the back. So the other benefit as well is with that the two lead acid crank batteries, I put about 75 kilos of batteries in the back just for the cranking batteries or for running the batteries in the house. And the new 100 amp power FPV power battery is only 16 kilos. So I've got all my top end speed and my performance back, which is great news. So. Guys, if you're in the market for a new hybrid battery at all, uh, sorry, for a new cranking battery at all, definitely look at FPV Power. They're at a really competitive price point. There are other lithium cranking batteries available. However, they're not at the price point that the FPV Power guys are at. So, um, guys, if you're in the market, definitely check them out. FPV Power. Cheers.